Cool. So hopefully you've seen the previous video and if you haven't, please go and check it out. I had the stupid idea to join the E36 Cup. I decided I wanted to give it a bash. I want to try some rally cross. And it looks so much fun. I bought the car behind me, a BMW E36. We're aiming right now to get this car ready by the 10th of June to go and race. In today's episode, we're getting the car ready for action and hopefully I can do some testing this weekend. My plan was to get a 2.8 litre straight six motor for the car, but due to the timeline and not being able to find a motor and a loom and an ECU, I will have to go with the original two litre motor that came with the car. Aww. So what we've been doing is just a general service, getting it nice and cleaned out, and we're gonna see how long it lasts. Hopefully it survives uh, the race day on the 10th. So far, everything's been good. We pulled the, uh, the sump off the engine last night. Uh, we checked that the pickup is clean and everything looks good. No shavings or anything in the oil. From what we can tell, the motor is healthy and we can use it. So we got it with the car, might as well give it a go especially since this is gonna be my first time driving in such a, a type of race, especially rallycross, it's something that I've never done. So, yeah. Cool, let me show you some of the other stuff that we've already done as well. Straight up, first one you'll see, we put new disc brakes all around the car. This is the original calipers, we just gave them a clean, new brake pads and then a new set of Monroe shocks all around the car. You'll also see we've got a golf spring compressed in here with the lowering spring, and this is just a nice stiff spring. And this spring is for that jump, that you have a bit more recoil so that the car doesn't bottom out. These are some of the cool tricks that Nikki and everyone have been sharing with me. New brakes, new lower control arm for all of the rubbers, new boots on the steering rack. We've just been going through everything, replacing what we can and that we have time for, for now. So the other thing you will see, the car is back, it's got its roll cage in and right now we're just cleaning out the inside of the car, but nicely welded in cage, you can literally shake the whole car around on this thing. It is solid. I love the work on it. This cage is more than perfect and I feel safe to drive in this. That's it. That's basically the car in a nutshell. Right now, we need to get that motor in. Our wheels are in for repair. So we got some wheels with the car that was buckled, getting that fixed and sprayed. I still need to go and buy two bucket seats and a helmet and gloves and the, the safety gear for myself. Cool guys, GNA Motorsport, racing equipment, anything you need, come chat to these guys. Really awesome people, they helped us out so much. Beaconsville House 125. Google it if you don't know where it is. But um, awesome store. Ready? Awesome. So today I'm like a kid in a candy store because we're at GNA Motorsports and they've got all the accessories and safety gear that I would need for the E36 Cup. You'll see behind me there's suits and tires and jackets and springs and everything you can possibly think about. So if you guys need anything for your race car, come and check this place out, GNA Motorsport in uh, Beaconsville, Cape Town. But uh, let's get to it. Let me show you the goodies that I want. So first of all, let's start with the steering wheel. I tend to prefer the suede steering wheels with the line up top. I don't like the flat face. I prefer wheel coming out a bit more. So it's gonna be either one of these two. Um, 
This feels nice, nice size. Um, this one's a bit smaller, which I think it's going to be this one. And then to fit the wheel, we need a hub, and this is pretty much directly what we need for an E36. So we can take this one as well. Simple cutoff switch and ignition button. The boys are walking around looking for more stuff that we can buy, but still need to get to the helmets. But I think let's try on the racing shoes and then the suit. Super nice and comfortable by the look of it. I'm gonna try it on now, but this is the biggest thing you want. Round heel for driving in the car. Nice and snug fit. So let's get this. Ooh, that does feel super nice. Oh my word. Perfect fit. It's definitely gonna stretch a bit, but that with the suit is gonna work beautifully. Also, this is going to be an expensive day for me. How much are those shoes? I think they're like three, five a set. Um, OMP racing, yeah, looks like three, five. But while I've got my shoes off, you can't follow me for this one. Sorry, Martin. Aww. Aww. Bye. Yeah, nice fit. Yeah, that's new shoes. Like him. Bye bye. Oh, what's the price on the suit? Um, I think the suit is about seven thousand nine hundred or something, and the shoes about three thousand five hundred. So we're already more than the car in just for safety gear. And I still need gloves, I still need a helmet, probably a neck brace, so it's just never ending. That actually does feel nice. So comes over the suit, nice and protective. This feels nice. So this is the slightly cheaper one at 1950, which does feel good. And then the other one is 25. Let's compare them and check the difference. I feel about the same, honestly. So I think I'm gonna go for the slightly cheaper one. It feels just as good. It looks the same on the inside, so let's go for that. Um, all right, another thing done. What's next? So unfortunately the guys don't have the seats in stock, but more is coming on Monday. I'll be getting exactly two of these seats, but in black. So OMP everything, and then we're sorted. Price tag, ouchie, 6,500 per seat times two. Then the brackets for mounting the seat in the car. We'll just get two sets of these guys. Steel brackets, good enough. And then the harnesses, safety belts are also coming on Monday. Um, we're going for four point FIA harnesses, another two eight per set. So as you can imagine, my poor bank account is gonna be screaming after this one. Looting your wife. Ah, 
don't tell her. <laughs> well, she's gonna see the video. <laughs> but uh, no, I think uh, we've got pretty much everything we needed and this is a really good start. We can put in what we need or what we bought now. The seats can come be fetched on Monday and then rock and roll time. Time to test and play. <laughs> Okay, okay. is finally in now it's just buttoning up everything putting all the accessories back we're just gonna pull the thermostat housing clean this up a bit and check the thermostat out and then we're ready to go but uh, while Volley's busy there come and have a look here Martin so some yummy yummy ribs on the spit roast easiest lunch you can ever cook because you don't have to do anything. I want my baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back ribs. I want my baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back ribs. So the wheels are finally back from being repaired and this is the set that we got with the green E36. They were a bit wobbly and weird so we had them repaired and we had them repainted. 17 inch wheel, 205 tire for the front and then we run the stock 15s in the rear. This is obviously just burner tires for now. I'll probably get these wheels painted black as well just to keep a nice consistent look on the car. That's pretty much it. Uh, for now, let's get rid of these tires, get the wheels on the car and then let's burn them. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm.